Hello everyone, so another day, another strike on the Russian oil depot. These videos show the aftermath of a strike on the Ilsky oil depot in Krasnodar region, Russia. This is a fairly sizable site as shown in this image here, but only one silo was damaged, silo number 43, geolocated to be here. This is the latest in a number of strikes on Russia's oil depots in the past week. Notably one near Sevastopol, and I have an update of that one coming later. But also one near the Crimean Bridge, now this one. Not to mention two oil trains in Russia which were derailed. This shows a fairly extensive attempt by Ukraine to hit Russia's oil supply. Zoomed out we can see this is beyond Novo Rusisk, one of the Black Sea fleets as homes. So since this oil depot was hit, then clearly Novo Rusisk can be hit too. This isn't the first time though this region was hit. If you look south, there's a settlement called Tuapsa. That had an oil depot which was hit a few months back. Novo Rusisk, notably, is home to some of the Kilo class submarines, and I imagine these drones would cause a lot of damage to them. If I can get some satellite images of Novo Rusisk base, I will do a video looking at what's there. So the launch site of these drones is typically Odessa, shown here to be 645 kilometers away. But we can't rule out a launch from elsewhere, as that is quite a sizable distance. It would be one of the furthest strikes Ukraine has launched. The closest front lines are near Vuladar, 340 kilometers away. Now the drone wouldn't be launched from Vuladar exactly, but it could be launched, you know, from a city or town further back beyond the lines in that distance, but either way, it would cut the flight time. But regardless of the launch point, this does show that there are becoming some pretty big holes in Russia's SAM network. It was always a bit holy, with drones getting through, but lately, these drones are getting through more and more. Whether this is because of losses to SAM systems, the SAM network being spread too thin and covering too wide an area, a change in tactic by Ukraine, or even dodgy older stock missiles which just can't hit the target, we can't say for sure. But either way, this tactic is working. So that's it for this video, a short one here, but I hope you found it interesting. If so, click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And also, check out the Patreon page for some exclusive content which I put up free of charge. No need to become a Patreon to see it. Thanks very much, and take care everybody.